The importance of nuclear science in controlling cancer was the theme of this year's IAEA Scientific Forum, with a major plan announced to raise funding for women's cancers. Under the leadership of the late Director General Yukia Amano, helping countries tackle the growing cancer burden has become a top priority for the agency. The IA works with governments and with health authorities and donors to increase access to radiotherapy, which is life-saving, and, and nuclear medicine and dosimetry. During the forum, the Islamic Development Bank announced a multi-million dollar partnership with the IAEA to support countries who are members of both organizations. This afternoon, we will jointly sign a new partnership initiative for the breast and cervical cancer control in developing countries. Saving women's life from cancer is a commendable endeavor to which I am wholeheartedly committed. This major new grant will contribute to helping the millions of women who suffer from cancers that are largely preventable and treatable in other parts of the world. The projects will expand breast and cervical cancer control programs, including the upgrade of over 40 cancer facilities. Douglas Lowy, a pioneer of the HPV vaccine for cervical cancer, also spoke at the event. There are enormous opportunities to reduce the burden of cervical cancer in low and middle income countries. To do so will require more research, greater commitment and increased investment. The IAEA helps member states channel such investment effectively. L'Agence et l'OMS ont élaboré une feuille de route pour un programme national de lutte contre le cancer décrivant les étapes que les pays peuvent suivre pour mettre en place des services de médecine nucléaire, d'imagerie, diagnostic et de radiothérapie. High-level speakers from 28 countries shared their experiences of working with the agency to increase access to cancer care and called for further international cooperation. Je fonde ainsi l'espoir qu'une vaste chaîne d'action verra le jour afin que le cancer cesse d'être un fardeau. En un mot, pour que le cancer soit vaincu. Attendees also discussed how nuclear imaging techniques play an increasing role in providing precise cancer diagnosis and more effective treatment. We've concluded the scientific forum, which was an excellent opportunity to look back at 10 years of progress in cancer control with our member states and other partners. It also provided the opportunity to look forward to the next 10 to 20 years and how the agency can contribute to the global cancer control effort.